Welcome back. Another episode. Ghetto Correspondent News Network. I forgot where the hell I was for a second. I'm like, <laughs> I might have, I might have a little fucking wet brain and I ain't drinking over two years. But I'm at damn it. Frankie Diamonds over there. How you doing, brother? What's good? What's good? All right. So uh another week, man. America is still with the shits. Um I ain't gonna lie, I'm enjoying this because I feel like uh America is starting to open their eyes and realize like yo fucking we have more power than um they thought initially Mm -hmm. they thought they you know and for lack of better words they you know had their foot on our neck and you know condolences to uh George Floyd and his uh family because that man did die literally by the law of the by the foot of the law on his neck and um yeah america's tired this is a straw that broke the camel's back i did a video on that this week um you guys make sure y'all go check that out and yeah, um people out there you know something is uh changing i seen somebody do that outside earlier with a black lives matter uh sign so damn. some of it white guilt and i did a video on that i didn't put it out yet but um like i think some of a lot of this is white guilt because it's like where were y'all at when they did mike brown's protest Eric Gardner, uh, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin. It took all of that to lead up to this for you to finally say, you know what, the hell with it. But I, I still am a firm believer. I think quarantine has had the biggest impact on this as far as America waking up. Because what was the whole uh, message with quarantine? We're all in this together, right? That's what they kept yeah, telling us. I was what it was supposed to be. And then when fucking they let a few people back out, the police was like, it's almost like the police was waiting in the cut. As soon as they see niggas come out, it's like, wham, right upside the head. I was like, yo, goddamn, they got this been. Yeah. So, yeah, that happened because you, when, um, what was it, Memorial Day weekend? Or it might have been before that when, you know, they had the, they were showing people the two Americas where it was like um, the white people in New York City that was in the park and police were handing out masks and then... Uh-huh. You see the black people and the police freaking clubbing them upside the head. And, and I think people are starting to research now. Like, it's more policing going on in our neighborhoods than their neighborhoods. Yeah. Uh, I, one thing I think is goofy, though, is people taking a knee with the cops. I don't understand that. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah they, that's that's a little fishy. It's a video of an old guy. He got pushed. He got he got pushed by the cops in Buffalo. I don't know if you've seen it. And when they pushed him, he fell on the ground so hard his head started bleeding. Um, I heard about it, um, and I saw the 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 pictures. Unfortunately, those type of video I avoid a lot of those videos nowadays because I don't need to be any more angry. I don't need the hypertension to build. In, in well, me. it wasn't even that I could avoid it. It was just it just was there. I didn't know it was coming. Yeah. The day before, like I'm saying with the with the kneeling shit, the day before those same cops, that same cop that pushed him and cracked his mm-hmm. head, killed with him. Really. Yeah, that's why I brought it up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. These cops are just they're doing it just for like I don't know. It's kind of like a photo op, like a video op. Like okay, I'll yeah. do it. It makes the you know it makes them look good. But taking a knee, I mean, what the fuck is that? I seen Casanova over in Manhattan with the NYPD. And he was like, take a knee, take a knee, and the cop took a knee, and everybody was like, ah, oh. like oh, like, oh y'all are embarrassing, man. What are y'all doing? That you know what that 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 is embarrassing because it's like you know the police are just going to do it because they're like, all right, what can we do yeah. to keep these yeah. motherfuckers from acting up? The shit I seen was in Flint, Michigan, where the cops took off all of their armor and all of their shit, and they just walked with the people. That was really cool. Dope. That's yeah. admirable. That taking the knee shit is corny, man. And like I say, if you know the, the real uh, history about Kaepernick and the whole taking knee movement, originally he was sitting down during the anthem. But the NFL told him it was too disrespectful to sit. So they said, well, they suggested, why don't you just take a knee instead? And that's how that whole thing came. Taking a right. knee is not really symbolic of, uh, I, I don't know. I, I never looked at taking a knee as symbolic of something as far as us calling a truce or whatever. I mean, right. like, I'm not kneeling to you. Taking a knee to me, what that symbolized was uh, I need I need a moment. I need to catch my breath. I need... Uh, I need a break. There's too much going on. I can't stand with the weight of the world on my shoulders as a black man. Let me take a knee and let you know that it's heavy out here. But yeah. unfortunately, that message got lost in 
the whole fucking flag. Like, all right, boss. Yeah. yeah. It, it went into the flag. All right. So, 